Hey everybody, it's Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. Today we've got our Galaxy S4 once again. This is the international one. And today we're going to take a look at a pretty cool ROM that's a little different than what we've been seeing so far. Alright, so the ROM we're taking a look at today for the Galaxy S4 GTI 9500. It is the PRISM ROM version 3.0. Now there's two types of PRISM ROMs on the uh, 9500 forums right now. This one is the Color OS version. So yes indeed, the UI that comes on the Oppo phones, now we can get on our Galaxy S4. So I'm going to start this up, and while this is booting up, we'll talk a little bit about it. This is brought to our device by Al Iraqi. So big thanks to him for bringing this over. There you see the Oppo logo. Got a little bit of sound going. This is based on the latest Color OS beta and it's been rooted, zip aligned, deodexed. Google Apps are included in this right out of the gate. And all languages are available. Now done a couple things since the last build. Uh, this is 3.0 like I said and he's added the AOSP keyboard and removed several keyboards including the Chinese version and the Google version. Removed a couple other things like unused folders and also the 4.4 fonts. So you see here I've changed the lock screen. This is the bowling one, um, I thought it was pretty cool, and the way you unlock it is you have to bowl it. And you have a little bit of sound effect, a vibration there, so that's kind of kind of fun. I don't know how practical that would be every single time you needed to unlock your device, but anyway. And I found that in the themes section here. It's one awesome thing about the Color OS is you can change the themes and it has tons of themes to choose from here. You get a little preview picture if you click on one. You get a little preview, you can swipe through, see what the icons look like. Get some information about it, then they give you some more recommended ones down at the bottom, but you can download it and then apply. If you swipe over, you have the ones that you've downloaded. And then if you swipe over again, you can customize, and that's where I ch changed the lock screen. Lock screen has a couple themes as well. So this is, like I said, Color OS, and it's, it's kind of strange. If you're uh, coming from Android, just regular Android, or TouchWiz or HTC Sense. It's a little bit of a learning curve. Here you can, uh, the menu, you swipe up from the bottom, gets into the menu. You can also just press your menu button to do the same action. Change your wallpaper, add the widgets. And it has some wallpapers here preloaded and you have a whole bunch of wallpapers you can choose from here and download. Quick toggles here, your notification shade. Go into our settings. And you'll find everything that you're used to. Uh, it just looks a little different and possibly in a different location. You can slide here to look at sounds and display as well. Go into the about phone here and you see this is Android 4.2.2. So everything seems to be working. Uh, camera works. I put it on last night and battery life seems to be pretty good. So there you go guys, real quick overview of the Color OS Prism ROM. 
for the International Galaxy S4. I'll put a link to where you can find this down below. Uh, I recommend throwing it on, checking it out, play around with it for a little while, and, and see what you think. So that's it for me, guys. This is Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. As always, you can follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. And we will see you next time.